me again. Hey, we're going to do something a little bit different today. I know we were working on this guy here, the Southern ready to roll box car. We were putting some sound in it and uh, it's coming good. It works well. I'm having a, a little bit of difficulty working out some bugs, uh, making it sound the way I want it to. I emailed Digitrax. They were cool. They emailed me back, gave me some suggestions. So uh, I'll let you know how that goes once I get everything worked out and I'll show you how I did it and why I did it and all that good stuff. So today we're going to look at just a PR3 by Digitrax. Uh, I talked to some of you guys out there, not everyone was familiar with it and how it worked and why it worked and all that stuff and how you can use it to modify your layout. So here's the PR3. Really, really simple. It's a simple USB cord that goes out to your computer. There's a couple terminal leads that go out to your track. And this is just some Bachman uh, uh, snap track. There's a local net here in the back. So this can be plugged into your command station through your local net. I've messed with it a little bit. You actually can use your PC or laptop, uh, Mac, there's some software out there for your Mac users to actually run it as a command station. The only thing I found that was a little bit of a problem is the amperage was a little low. And just like with almost everything else with Digitrax, you got to buy a power supply that goes with it. So we're going to use this guy here. It's a Cato SD70 Mac. I've modified it a little bit. Uh, what I've done is I've, I've added the uh, the Digitrack sound decoder. I forget which one it is. I'll leave it there in the remarks. I took the regular light board out and added the sound bug to it. Uh, I took out the speaker that normally comes with it and I added this guy here. It's about 10 bucks for this speaker here. It's a mega bass speaker so it's going to change the sound uh, quite a bit. And I had to stick that in the cab it wouldn't fit anywhere else in the body because the speaker was bigger so I took the seat out and I did that so um, I have it here in a test track all you gotta do to get this software it comes with some is you go to digitracks.com I hope you all can see this well you go into the sound decoder part you go up here to where it says sound depot and it's going to give you a listing of all these different variations of different engines so there's you know, GE AC4400, there's an EMD SD382, uh, FP40, there's another uh, uh, GE, uh, the new Evo series, uh, there's a few other ones, there's an SD40, a GP10, there's a couple of alcohols in here, uh, there's some uh, European stuff up in here, uh, there's another GE U33, a GP38, a Dash 9, and it goes on and goes on. So once you get this up in here, you basically download it. Uh, save it to a folder somewhere that uh, that you like and uh, you go from there. So they do update, to update this every now and then. Uh, so there's always new files out there. Uh, some of these are crap. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, some of these, you know, actually sound pretty good. So it depends on what you like and what kind of local if you got. Like the one that came with this guy, uh, the board was actually set up for an AC4400. Well, obviously this is an EMD, so... I wanted to put up a different sound. Um, the original one I put up there was uh, uh, was an SD70 Mac and then I started downloading some sounds that I had done. Um, some stuff from YouTube, some stuff uh, I got from Real Fanning. This is the sound loader, uh, the Digitrack software. And again, I hope you can see this well. It basically breaks down all the sounds. So in this particular instance, uh, I'm going to open up a save file that I had. Let's do, uh, let's do the SD70 Mac. So that was a startup sound on here, and this particular one is going to loop a few times before it goes on. I'll show you what that sounds like here in a minute. The diesel startup. The idle. If you right click this, you can, you can play it in a loop so you kind of get an idea of what it sounds like. From going from idle to run, so basically, you know, going from zero to, you know, notch or whatever, notch three, notch eight, whatever. Uh, 
and so on and so forth. You can start customizing things like the horn and the air compressor. Beginning, middle, end. That one's kind of the, the horn I didn't like on there. There's some other ones on here. Um, things like the air compressor you can do. There's this other thing on here. It's called a sound test. I'm going to click that. This thing is going to click a few times as it starts to read the decoder stuff, and then it's going to fire up as if it was on the layout. Now I'm going to put the mute on, which has it about 75% of volume. And I do that because, again, the voltage on the PR3 uh, is only about an amp that it puts out maybe a little more. And this new speaker is putting out about an amp and a half. So once I really get this thing going, um, it, it cuts out the PR3. So just so you guys know that when you start modifying some of your engines and speakers and decoders and stuff. I go back here, and let's say I want to push... Uh, F0, as most of you guys know, that's your light, those of you guys that run Digitracks. If I were to push F1, same thing on your command station, that's your bell. The horn. And this little guy over here, I'm going to fire it up. Take that bell off. The compressor. I'm not sure how well it sounds in the video, but there's, a, there's some bass coming from that compressor. Just firing down and going to go back down to idle here. You can do some directional stuff on here. There's also a part on here where you can program the CV values, master volume, mute volume, horn delay, or I'm sorry, bell delay, uh, horn volume, all this stuff that's on there. So in a nutshell, that's a PR3. That's how it works. All you do is you, you get some... Uh, some sound software on there. Digitrax has some on their website. If you got your own, um, you know, you can, you're welcome to use your own. Uh, you can, this is pretty much simple wave stuff that, that can be found anywhere. Again, those of you rail fanning out there, record your sounds, uh, break them down. Here's what it sounds starting up. Here's what it sounds at notch eight. Here's what it sounds like at idle. Break it down, cut it up, loop it, make sure it sounds good. Um, and start messing with this stuff. It's really, really cool. Um, so, hey, there it is. We'll see you guys next time.